Good afternoon. It's your boy, Pigskin Pete. Happy Thursday to everybody. Before we get into today's topic at hand, I need, for, I, well, first thing I do is I need some advice or not advice, but um, some feedback from some of my viewers that have been watching me for a while. Um, also, I want to make an announcement. That's the very first thing I'm going to do. Howardsrock.net, as you can see up there at the top of the screen was a uh, is a fan website for Clemson fans. It, the website has been going through a lot of changes over the past few months. Uh, I do want to announce that the site is now free. It's no longer a paid site. So it used to be that the howardsrock.net site was free. And to get the exclusive video content, you had to subscribe for uh, whatever it was. I think it was like $9 a month. That, that you no longer have to do that. All of the exclusive content for howardsrock.net is now free. Uh, we are up updating the the website weekly with new video and written article content so make sure you bookmark that website and check it out frequently of course especially if you're a clemson fan and i appreciate it uh now the feedback that i need so the feedback i need is i look i i know this is it probably doesn't interest anybody but again i need feedback this camera that i'm using today is a new camera it's a, it's a 4k webcam the, originally, I started just using my phone to do YouTube videos two and a half years ago. Then I updated to a, a better phone just because it was time to get a new phone. And ironically, the newer phone that I got had a worse webcam, worse microphone, and worse uh, speaker than the one before it. Anyway, I don't know how that happens. Anyway, eventually I broke down, got a laptop, got a webcam, got a microphone, all this stuff that you need to do to stream and, and make better quality videos and all that uh about i don't know a year and a half ago or something and um i've been using the same equipment since got the the, the bottom of the line type of stuff right um so anyway i decided to update the camera because well i'm gonna get it i don't really want to get too much into it because nobody really cares here's the bottom line do you see a better quality picture with this webcam because i, I mentioned in the, on my stream last week that the amount of information that I know about technology could fit into a thimble. There are literally 12 year olds. Hell, there's literally 12 year olds in my own household that know more about technology than me. So anyway, do you see a better color pop? Do you see a, a clearer image? Let me know. And again, I probably won't know for sure until, until I do a live stream with it. But uh, if it, listen, if it's not that much better, I'm just, I'm going to take it back. I'm not wasting my money on this uh, stuff. All right, the NFL Combine. That's what I want to talk about today. And uh, listen, I love the NFL Combine. I love the NFL Draft because for me, I'm a fan of both sports. Same sport, football, but I'm, I'm a fan of both things. And some people are very adamant that they are college football fans. They hate the NFL. Or I see a lot of NFL fans saying, oh, I can't stand college football. A bunch of amateurs. Uh, they're no good. And there's, and there's 190 million teams. Whatever. I love both. Now, if I had to pick one to watch for the rest of my life and couldn't watch the other, you know, the whole desert island thing, it would be college football. But anyway, I love both. And so I love, that's the reason I love the draft and the combine is, is uh, you get to watch your favorite players from college go through the combine and, sh and showcase their skills. You get to, during the draft time, you get to see where your favorite college players from your respective schools and all that get drafted uh, to go begin their professional career. Um, Every single year, I call it the underwear Olympics because they put these guys in skin type underwear. That's what it is. There's no other word for it. They want to talk about it's, uh, I don't even know what they call it, the, the type of pants and stuff that they wear. It's underwear. It's literally underwear. I don't, need, I don't know why you need to be in underwear to do this. All right? Why can't these guys, they, they don't have to be like in full put football pads and uniform, but can't they wear basketball shorts? Do we really need to see these guys butt cheeks? And junk flapping around. Do you remember the? Uh, there was a couple of years, two or three years ago. There's a uh, a Kansas City Chiefs player. He, well, he plays for the Chiefs now, and uh, he was doing the 40 yard dash, and his whole junk flew out of his underwear or whatever those pants that they wear are. And then, uh, if you were watching this on ESPN, of course they deleted it later. But if you're watching it live on ESPN, he's doing the 40 yard dash. His whole thing comes out of his pants. The whole, all of everything, all flat, flat, flapping around <laughs> like an elephant trunk down there. And uh, they didn't catch it quick enough. They showed the slow, the slow mo replay right after, and you could just it's flapping everywhere. 
and of course, and then they figured out what was going on, and they and they uh, they didn't show it again. But uh, look, there's no reason for that. Put these guys in basketball shorts. We don't need to see these guys are, are wearing their uh, their wrestling shorts or whatever they call that. But every single year, every single year, we see when we you know when they do the the height and the weight, and they measure the guys' hands, and they see how high they can jump, and they do all this other crazy stuff. A lot of it has nothing to do with how good of a football player they are. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't matter because if it didn't matter, they wouldn't do it. But the hand size thing. So this is the, the reason I'm bringing this up is because everybody has heard about Joe Burrow's hand size. So Joe Burrow, and I think what they do is they measure, like you'll spread your hand apart like this, right? And they'll measure from the tip of your pinky to the tip of your, uh, your thumb here. Now, I think that's how they do it. Somebody could tell me different. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. But so Joe Burrow comes in with the, the smallest hand size since they started doing the combine is what I heard. It's like barely over nine inches. Okay. Now, every year they're saying that there's certain guys that are too short, right? They're too small. They're too slow. Their hands are too small. So for those of you who don't know, the NFL football is slightly bigger than the college football. Uh, the most notable thing that people see is that the NFL football doesn't have the white stripes on it and the, and the college football does. There is a difference in the size of the football as well, which, by the way, can we stop this? Is there, why, are we, why is there a different size ball for the NFL than there is in college? I, I don't understand that whole principle in the first place. But anyway, it's not that much bigger. It's a slightly bigger around and slightly heavier like i'm talking about so slight that you probably really can't tell that much of a difference if you're throwing it uh it's a small difference but um so the question was you know these teams seem to put a big emphasis on hand size now i'm listen i'm assuming that if you're a taller quarterback you have an advantage because you can see over the line better you can see the field better slight advantage i'm assuming that if your hand is bigger than if it's smaller, there's a slight advantage because you might have better grip on the ball. I mean, this is very common sense type of stuff, right? You might be less likely to fumble and it might be less likely to slip out of your hand in inclement weather or wet conditions or whatever. But look, guess who the second smallest hand in the history of the combine is? I'll give you one guess. That's right, Patrick Mahomes. This Patrick Mahomes, whose hand is like an eighth of an inch, or, or maybe not even that, bigger than Joe Burrow's, have a problem throwing an NFL football. No. No. Now, you look at some of the players with the biggest hands in college football, and they turn the ball over more than anybody. Now, there's no, there might not be a correlation between the two. My point here is people like Cam Newton, who's got a huge arm, is not the most accurate guy. You know how big his hand is? It's huge. Uh, a, a lot. Listen, there's a lot of other guys. Jameis Winston, big, huge hand. Tur he's got more interceptions right now in, in football than anybody that's currently playing. I mean, from year to year. You know, Brett Favre's got the all-time deal. But So my point is it doesn't matter that much. For anybody who thinks that because Joe Burrow's hand's only nine inches and an eighth or whatever it is, that he's somehow going to not be able to throw a football anymore, you're, you're, you're a complete and total tard. I'm sorry to tell you. It's just all there is to it. Kyler Murray heard that about him last year. Oh, he's too short. Oh, he's got uh, he's got small hands. Oh, he's gonna get creamed and crushed in the, in the NFL. He won't make it through half of the first season. He didn't get hurt last year. He played great for a rookie, and he played on a terrible team. So all of the things that people said about Kyler Murray last year did not come true. His height wasn't a problem. He wasn't a turnover machine, and he didn't get clobbered and killed because he was too small for the NFL. So all, a lot of this stuff is way, way, way overblown. It just, it's just the way it is. Uh, the only thing that matters, not the only thing, the most important thing that matters when transitioning from college football to the NFL is what you've got between the ears and your pure God-given skill and talent level. That's it. If you can spin that ball and you can throw it downfield and you're accurate, it doesn't matter if your hand's nine inches or ten and a half inches. It doesn't matter if you're 5'11 or 5'10. 
I'd rather have a guy that's 5'10", like Kyler Murray, who can run a 4'4", who can spin it like nobody, like nobody's business, than a guy who's six foot two, with big hands, who's turning the ball over every three seconds and uh, and can't get out of the pocket because he's slow. That's just me. So look, it, I'm not saying it doesn't matter because everything matters, everything matters. But the most important thing is what you've got between your ears, your work ethic, and your skill level. Um, now look, if Joe Burrow had like eight inch hands, like you know, if, if he got to the point where he physically couldn't hold a football, that'd be a different story. But uh, look, I mean, he, this guy's not going to have a problem throwing a football. It's, it's not. Uh, again, Patrick Mahomes didn't have a problem with it, and they basically had the same size hand. So don't tell me that's a, a factor in this. Uh, so anyway, all right, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, I, will, I, I may do another updated video on the Combine uh, tomorrow. We'll see what, uh, what comes out of the Combine with some of the individual players. And then, of course, on Friday night, uh, around 7 p.m., between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern time, I will be doing my live call-in beer stream like I do every single week. Uh, so look forward to that. All right, guys. Thanks. Pigskin Pete. Check in. Out.